Hello everyone, my name is Shamira, aka Mimi. If you're a new, welcome to my channel. If you're returning, welcome back. So you guys, I'm coming to you today with the three option pick a card on why are people so obsessed with you, okay? So I will have a channel song for each pile, okay? And I will be doing a free flow, freestyle type of card pull. I'm not taking reversals, okay? So um, I will be pulling from these three decks, Oracle decks plus a little bit of tarot, okay? But you guys, before I start, I like to let you guys know that I am having a raffle, okay? A $15 off coupon raffle code for my shop, Heavenly by Goddess B. If you guys want to check out all the information about that, please visit the description box below. And also, you guys follow me on Instagram so you can get that uh, raffle entry in, okay? You see me the word raffle your name and your email okay and it's that simple also you guys i did upload today a um you know a healing session video okay for uh today and that is uh you know your looks just using your looks to get what you want okay it's nothing wrong with that you guys sometimes you just use what you got right so you guys let's get started with power one power one you guys why are people so obsessed with you? Okay, why are you so obsessed with me? And everybody knows, yes. Okay, Mariah Curry vibes. But the song that I got for you guys is um, Never Let You Go. Yes, if I had one wish, boy, I wish you were next to me. And it can be in summer, fall, or spring, boy. Cause you make my heart sing. I wanna give my heart, my soul, my love to you, oh baby. And every time I'm not with you, I'm missing you like crazy. Yes, people have plenty to say about you. Oh my goodness. Yes, the whole one for you to love me yes hold me touch me down deep in my soul okay people i don't know when they meet you they feel like you are just a soulmate okay you're like i don't know like a dream come true maybe some of you guys are pisces okay cancer all right sag leo I'm going to have you Sag. Sag Aquarius Pisces. And um, did I say Leo? I did say Leo. I already pulled from there. Yes, you guys. You guys, give me a few. Okay, hold on, you guys. I'm going to show you guys the cards in a few. All right, my, my baby. Let me just, he's doing something. Let me just pause this. My apologies, Paul One. My baby is going to drive me crazy. You see, after school, it's like after school, children just be snacking like all day. But yes, Paul uh, One, yeah. You guys are definitely in tune with your intuition. You guys are in tune with your emotions, okay? You make people feel like uh, they can tell you anything, all right? I'm definitely seeing Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, all right? Yes. Oh my goodness. Is that all? Is that all for Paul One? Why are people so obsessed with Power One? Okay, that's enough of that deck. Yes, last deck, you guys. A little bit of tarot. If I have one wish, yes. You know, you guys, you guys might get a lot of, uh, I don't know, baby. You might get a lot of people from the past, you guys. Um, I'm seeing like ex coworkers, ex you know, uh, bosses, ex friends, just exes, ex, 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 people from the past just coming back. Oh my goodness, something flipped over. Um, okay, yeah, people from the past just wanting to come back, you know, get a piece of that action. <laughs> okay, all right, okay. Should I take all? I'm gonna take all of them. Something fell on the floor to you guys. I'm gonna show you guys. You know, usually, thank you, baby. I don't need it. You guys got a lot of, uh, you know, major arcanas, okay? Let me show you guys. Let me get these cards together first, you guys, and I'm going to show you. Yes, if I have one wish, boy, I wish you next to me. It can be in summer, fall, or spring, boy, because you make my heart sing. I want to give my heart, my soul, my love to you. Oh, my goodness, Paul, one, you guys are the bomb, okay? Wow. You guys are not going to believe this, Okay. Yes. I did say Aquarius and Sagittarius, right? I said that right. 
Okay, so let me show you guys the cards. There's so many cards. It's ridiculous. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you guys got Isis, Rebirth. Danu Assurance. See? Castilla. I don't know how to pronounce this. I'm not going to try, okay? And that says home. You guys got fire, all right? Magic. High Priestess, okay? Queen of Wands. Yes, fire signs come through. Justice. Knight of Swords. <laughs> Three of Cups. Emperor. Temperance. Ace of Wands, the star, okay, like I said, the signs, okay, it's so many signs, you guys, I don't even want to call it out, but I am getting a lot of fire, a lot of fire and a lot of water, like a mixture of fire and water, okay, but I'm, I'm heavily seeing uh, Aries, Leo, Sag, um, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, and also Aquarius, all right? I did call that out. <laughs> Got the star and the knight of swords, okay? So people are obsessed with you, first of all, because you guys are just some baddies, okay? Some of you guys are definitely bosses, okay? Someone that people look up to. Um, you guys come off really intimidating, all right? Really intimidating with the, with the fire, okay? Like to get the queen of wands, high priestess, and emperor, you guys are definitely make moves based on like i say gut feelings and hunches okay you guys are big bosses all right people uh you know they they think to themselves you know how can this person do all of that you know how is this person doing that and i don't know why i'm getting what's that robin thick song i got it you got it i got the magic stick you got it okay whatever i don't know what, what it is but you guys can hear the song okay the ace of wands yes you guys happy fire placements all right i remember i did say you guys uh you are in tune with your intuition um you know just being in tune with your emotions you guys know who you are okay and people who are sure of themselves all right um they don't you don't need anyone else to tell you who you are you guys give yourself that assurance okay that everything is going to be fine every uh you know a decision you guys make you know you guys make boss decisions boss moves you guys know that you can make something grow out of nothing okay you guys are really heavy manifestors also i'm getting that with the insurance car you see how this little uh plant is in her hand and she's making it grow you know you guys could be scorpio you know you guys go through a lot of uh ups and downs okay especially when it comes to business or your personal life i do see that you know um maybe some of you guys have left home to venture out on, it, on, on a new adventure, you know? Uh, maybe your family and your friends told you it wasn't gonna be, you know, successful. And you guys are like, the hell with you, I make my own decisions. And you guys like to prove people wrong. I'm definitely seeing that. I'm getting Queen of Wands again, okay, with this headdress. I'm getting Heavy Leo and Sag, okay? Yes. You guys do feel like home to some people, okay? Yes. People are obsessed with you because, you know, they love your power, okay? The power that you guys hold, you know, is per magic, all right? Yes, I got it. You got it. And you guys, you could have a really banging ass body, okay? If you're masculine, you know, you guys are packing. I'm getting that from this wand, <laughs> from this ace of wands, and also from this, um, this unicorn. You see how the horn is just sitting here? That magic stick, okay? Yes. All right. Oh, you got some good pom pom, okay? That wop, all right? The water just keep on flowing. But I do see you guys are um in a leadership position. Whenever I get the star card, I do think of uh, you know, just being on display, being on show, okay? Have having a showcase. Um, some of you guys could be influencers in some way. All right. I'm seeing like uh 
models, Instagram models, Facebook models, social media models, maybe a model of a company. Some of you guys could be starting your own company or your own business, okay? And people have seen you make something out of nothing, okay? You guys are really patient, okay? You guys don't mind uh, waiting to make decisions, but when you guys make those decisions, you guys make great decisions, okay? Like I said, boss decisions, those tough decisions that other people, um, you know, don't know how to handle, all right, Power One? Those tough decisions that a lot of people will, uh, you know, uh, cry or try to back out of. You guys are fearless with it, okay? And I can definitely see you guys have a lot of options, all right, you guys? Uh, definitely know your worth. I'm seeing heavy solar plexus and sacral chakra. Okay, you guys are really stable. Um, Taurus, I'm also seeing Taurus, you guys, and Capricorn. Really stable in who you are. All right. Yes, a lot of people love being around your energy because you guys, when they know when you win, they win. Okay, some people might uh, come around, you might have a hard time people being around you just trying to soak up your energy or trying to, uh, you know, um, I would say compete with you. You might have a lot of people competing with you, you know, I'm throwing obstacles your way to try to make you fail. All right. And with this King of Swords, I say King of Swords, I'm thinking about King of Swords. When I get this Knight of Swords, I do see that, um, you know, some people may have tried to put you down in some way, okay? Or try to discourage you from doing what you are doing right now. But I'm definitely seeing it's working for you, okay? You guys have, you know, blocked off and cut off all communication with people who aren't uh, supporting you or who are not going to be, um, who just have a really nasty energy attached to them, okay? All right? Like I said, I'm, I'm definitely seeing a lot of people in the past, those, those naysayers, those exes, okay? Um, specifically, you know, I'll say ex coworkers. A lot of them could be watching you right now, stalking you on social media, you know, trying to start some drama, coming at you sideways, you know, trying to fuck up your business or, or fuck up whatever you have going on. Um, but you guys have definitely blocked those people out. And, you know, I don't blame you because it is your justice. All right. Some of you guys may be in the, in the legal system. You guys may be, uh, you know, aspiring lawyers, okay, or police officers. Um, some of you guys could be in the armed forces also. I've definitely seeing that. I'm seeing soldier whenever I see this a uh, sword, this guy riding on a horse, almost like a it's a knight. <laughs> okay. So yeah. Uh you guys could definitely be in the air force, okay? The army, the navy, police officers. Okay, but you guys, I'm not going to lie, you guys are really honest and truthful, and you guys will definitely uh, cuss someone out, okay, and not really will cuss them out, but you will put someone in their place if they step to you in some way, okay, and people kind of dig that, and some people, you know, I always say, like, people who scare them, some people want to be scared and excited at the same time, it's kind of weird, but it is what it is, but um, you guys, you guys know what it is, uh, some of you guys may have, uh, you know, ran into people coming after you, um, saying little things to you, you know, trying to, you know, sabotage you in some way, maybe close friends or relatives, but um, some of you guys may have dealt with people, you know, trying to like come for you and mask it as them joking or um, just trying to help. They're really not, they're really not. They're really coming for you. You guys have enough intuition, okay, enough sense to read between lines, to read between what is said and what is not said. You guys are really intuitive. Like I said, you guys make great decisions, and the best decision you guys could have made was distancing yourself away from these people. Okay, that is your justice to your damn self. Like I said, get rid, get rid of those people, who just weren't for you. But um, like I said, some people could have, you know really did a number on you back then, you know, really hindered your growth, really held you back or really try to sabotage you, not only by seeing negative things, but doing negative things behind your back, you know. Uh, okay, I will just a moment backstabbing you, you know, or trying to stop you from getting into your creative endeavors, you know, really trying to um, make a name for yourself, okay? 
So you guys kind of in some way bossed up, leveled up, distance yourself away from that BS because no one needs to be dealing with that, okay? You guys don't have to deal with things like that, all right? You shouldn't be forced to deal with things like that. Um, but they always see your words after you're actually gone. So yes, pile one, that is all people are obsessed with. You. you guys are definitely a boss, okay? A force to be reckoned with. You guys have this magnetic energy, okay? Boss-like strength to you, okay? That a lot of people don't have within themselves. And of course, people are attracted to things that they are uh, missing or feel that they are missing within themselves, all right? So you guys are just, you know... You guys just shit. All right. What, what else can I say? So uh, thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this, hit the like button. If you guys didn't, you know, feel like it resonated, feel free to choose it in a pile or just leave it all together. Okay. Also, you guys remember I'm having a raffle for Heavenly's first anniversary and you guys have to follow me on Instagram to enter that raffle. So please check the description box below and also follow me on Instagram and check all the information there. Okay. So, um, Thank you so much, you guys, for watching, and I will see you in the next pile or next time, okay? Mm -hmm. Bye. Hey, Pile 2. So why are people obsessed with you, Pile 2? Pile 2, before I get started, I would like to let you guys know I'm having a raffle in my Instagram. So follow me on Instagram to answer that raffle. That is a $15 off of a $35 uh, purchase from my shop, Heavenly Heavenly by Goddess B, you guys. If you're not familiar with my shop, I do sell the, the Chakra B bracelets, okay? I sell various uh, crystal pendants, okay, cord wrapped, um, uh, you know, um, wire, cage wire, uh, charms and everything with earring sets. Uh, also, lock jewelry, you guys. I actually have one on. And this is like the Peter Sight one. You guys can't really see it, but yeah, I have the lock jewelry. I have crystal candles, you guys. The, the candle with the surprise crystal inside. And a sweet message. I have sage bundles. Okay, incense. And also, you guys, I have new items coming. Guys, this is one of the chakra candles. This is the... Uh, amethyst this is the uh, crown chakra candle okay it has a crystal in it right there if you guys can see it yeah see so i have some of them this is the third eye one the third eye chakra all right and this is the throat chakra all right so yeah the rest of them you guys um yeah i made some of those too i'm not going to show you guys all of it but that's a little snippet of, of the new arrivals to my shop. So enough of that, you guys. Like I said, visit the description box below. Um, and follow me on Insta, okay? You will see at Heavenly by Goddess B, okay? So yes, a pile two. Did I call you guys pile one? Maybe you guys came from pile one. But um, the song that I got for you, the channel song I got for you was uh, by Monica for you, I will. Yes. Okay, I will be pulling these cards freestyle here, okay, you guys, and then I'll show you guys the cards. All right, so yes, I will cross the ocean for you, I will go and bring you the moon, I will be your hero, your strength, anything you need, and I will be the sun in the sky. I will let you, I don't know what she said, I forgot, it was a long time since that song came out, you guys, I forgot the lyrics, but I know a little bit, yes, for you I will, so Paul 2, people might be obsessed with you, you, okay, you guys are tight-lipped, okay, you guys don't tell much about yourself, okay. maybe people think, you know, come off a little bit sneaky, okay, or you guys are just really chill and laid back, but, um, you guys ever met this person? where you know they just seem to be a nice sweet person um no one messes with them when someone messes with them they they go off on that person they're the quiet person in the room you know but they will uh whip your ass if you if you bother them all right some of you guys might be like that you guys might be a little introverted pal too um you might have a lot of people wanting to you know like uh protect you okay it sounds really weird um masculine or feminine a lot of people around you might like to protect you they might look at you as being delicate okay so yes for you i will yes i'm getting that part like for you i will lay my life on the line 
For you, I will fight. For you, I will die. With all my strength, with all my soul, I'll give it away. Give it all. What you think you need? Okay. Yes, Monica, come through. I'm not getting a lot from this. I'm not getting a lot from you guys, but people obsessed with you because they feel like you guys um as more is more to you than me see I, okay? You guys are a little deep. You could be Scorpio, okay? Virgo. Um Yeah, Scorpio and Virgo. That's all I'm getting. Pisces, all right? So um, I don't know why I'm thinking of Janae Eiko, you guys. She could be a little small in stature, okay, or a little slim. Maybe later, okay? Go drink your water right there. And eat your Cheerios. It's like, look, look, oh, come here. Look. Okay, Cheerios and your water for right now, okay? Yeah. Yeah, you guys are, uh, oh my goodness, look, you guys, look, Virgo. You guys, I will not be taking reversals, but, yeah, I don't know why you guys, not a lot is coming out about you guys. Oh my goodness, you guys are so secretive. Okay, Scorpio, Pisces. Taurus. Okay, I'm going to show you guys the cards in a few. But like I said, you guys might be a little slim, I might be a little small, you guys, uh, you guys could be really strong, okay, as far as your strength, but people under, under, underestimate you. Um, you guys are like the underdog, okay? People do see that. They're like, damn, this person, I thought they were like this, you know? So you guys might get a, a misunderstood a lot by a lot of people. All right? You guys, guys uh, might come off a little um, unassuming to people, okay? They're thinking you're one way and you're actually the other way. Uh, maybe sometimes people might think that you're a little uh, secretive because, like I said, you guys are sneaky. But you guys probably are just, you know, uh, protecting your energy. And I don't blame you guys because I'm a Virgo and I like to stay in my solitude, you know. I like to be a little hermit sometimes. I'm going to show you guys the cards in a few. Um, this is Rhea Flo, okay? I don't know how to pronounce her name. I'm not going to try to, but I got the past. Okay. Prosperity. Virgo. Taurus. Page of Cups. Page of Wands. <laughs> Five of Cups. Five of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Three of Swords, okay? So I'm seeing that, you know, a lot of people in the past, okay, could have been drawn to your energy because you guys um, hold this really um, lighthearted type of energy, okay? Like a, a innocent type of energy. You guys might come off as, as looking a little angelic, okay? Or a little unassuming. People might think you are, guys are a, a angel, okay? Think you guys are innocent, but you guys have a, a certain layer to you um, that you don't really show to a lot of people, okay? You guys keep on like a hush-hush. I'm definitely getting that Scorpio, uh, like I said, Virgo and Pisces, okay? Because they can be really quiet, all right? You guys might have um, might have a lot of coworkers, okay, watching you right now, stalking you, or just interested in getting to know you guys, okay? I'm seeing that when I get this tourist, okay? I do think about... Uh, you know, hot working, okay? Work related things, okay? Pleasures. You guys might like to uh, do a lot of, you know, uh, crazy things behind closed doors. It, it is definitely another side to you, Paul, too, okay? And people are kind of like, they kind of know that because sometimes they might catch you doing something. You guys might say something um, or respond to them in, in a certain way. It gets them kind of thinking like, damn, uh, it's, it's more to this person. I didn't think this person was going to react like that or, <laughs> okay. Um, it's, it's something that is uh, really natural, okay, and earthy to you guys. Maybe the way you guys dress, all right? 
you guys have a, a, a kind of nurturing, uh, motherly type of energy to you, okay? Maybe because of that, that energy, okay? People will look at you as being harmless or innocent. But like I said, if somebody mess with you, okay? You're ready to tear, tear that ass up, all right? You guys do not play. And I'm definitely getting that with this flow card because um, you see how it's that green. And she has flowers all in her hair, Okay. I think of earthy, earthiness, okay? Makes me think of a goddess of uh, of the empress, okay? Someone who is uh, in tune with themselves, okay? You guys are really, really smart. You guys are in tune with a, a, a lot of your, like, a lot of energies around you, okay? I'm definitely getting that Pisces, okay? Yes. You guys are aware when people are trying to shit you, okay? People are trying to get over you. Some people might look at you, Paul, too, as being, like I said, uh, gullible or, or a little too open or too easy to get over on. But uh, I think you guys are time enough for that ass, okay? Maybe some of you guys have um, dealt with that in the past, okay? Dealing with people who wanted to use you, okay? Backstab you, break your heart, okay? People who put you in third-party situations, you know, had options, okay? Maybe some of you guys... Um, because of your energy, you have a really goddess, godlike energy, okay? Really uh, high vibrational type of energy. A lot of people are kind of afraid of that, all right? They're a little afraid of it or they don't feel like they're worthy of it. So they might uh, have other options, okay? People who are easier to deal with, okay? Because you guys do not play. I'm definitely getting that you guys are in tune with not only uh, the energies around you guys are really... Uh, you guys have really mastered your own emotions, okay? And because of that, you guys are uh, you guys are abundant, okay? You guys allow things, you guys attract things, okay? You guys learned the arts of attracting things and not chasing after people who mean you no good, okay? Who are not energetically uh, matched with you, okay? I'm definitely seeing that. All right, maybe you guys went through a lot of stages of heartbreaks and heartaches, okay? Trusting people, okay? Because of this childlike, innocent type of uh, energy, people thought that you were an easy target, you know, someone to uh, screw over, okay? But that's because you were, uh, you know, a just a little curious okay and adventurous about life you guys didn't protect yourself as much as you should have but now that you guys have learned how to oh my goodness sorry, my father, learn how to uh you know pick up on energies pick up on people aren't being uh you know really honest with you when people aren't being uh really great to you okay they're not being upfront with you you guys learn how to pick up on those cues and to stand up for yourself because a lot of you could have had uh people run over top of you in the past okay like really hurt you like i said some people uh, might look at you now and you are a totally different person okay you guys have changed for the better you guys have uh really fought your demons in the past you know, regarding connections and, and, you know, and what it means to trust other people, okay? And also, you guys, people might look at you. Like I said, you guys are a little quiet. You guys might stay to yourself because, like I said, in the past, maybe in the past, you guys, you uh, were a little open, okay, to connecting with other people, okay? So... Because of all the things that happened in the past, those negative experiences, um, I'm going to put it back down. Those negative experiences, you know, you guys aren't as open, okay, or as talkative or, you know, open to connecting with other people as much as you were back then because uh, you've learned your, your heart lessons when it comes to trusting other people, okay? And now, like I said, instead of you guys chasing people who want to keep you in third party situations, play games with you, mess with your heart, you guys in some way bossed up, okay? You guys are, are in the flow of allowing um, abundance to come to you, okay? Really prosperous. Anything you want, okay, you attract effortlessly, okay? It's like a natural flow. And I'm definitely getting that with the, the Virgo and Taurus, okay? Anything you want, anything you need.
anything you desire you attract it okay people see that you guys are able to um you know transmute all of your pain of the past those lessons of the past in order for you guys to become the best version of you okay you guys definitely leveled up to some goddess or god like god like uh you know uh energy okay and people might think okay this person stays to themselves they're sneaky i don't trust that person that's because they can't be trusted okay people who don't really know you and your full essence of who you are are gonna misjudge you like that okay you can't worry about those people but um i'm definitely seeing that you guys now have a lot of options not all of your options are valuable options not all of your options are wanted okay or needed and you guys definitely know that you guys have leveled up as far as your self-worth all right and your stability and you guys only just a moment you guys okay just a moment my side is giving me the blues, you guys. I swear he is. But like I said, you guys, you guys aren't, uh, you know, open to attracting people who aren't on your level, you know, mentally, emotionally, uh, you know, financially. You guys aren't about to be attracting, you know, F boys and F girls. I think you guys had your fair share of those people. Um, and that, that's why people are a little obsessed with you. They're trying to figure out, you know, how you possibly did it, okay? I'm definitely saying you guys do have options, okay? You guys might reject and turn out a lot of people, you know. Maybe a lot of people from the past like to come back around to you. Like, can I have a second chance? You're like, get the hell up out of here. No. No. You're not the only one. They're like, oh, okay. Send their ass on. Quick, fast, and a hurry, okay? Yes. You guys have definitely... uh might leave a trail of broken hearts now that you guys have leveled up but it's not that you're purposely doing it it's just that you guys know what you deserve and it's not anybody who's going to play around with you use you for anything or uh, exploit you okay for your kindness use your kindness against you all right because i'm definitely seeing that you guys are excellent on everything that you you know that reminds you of the past, okay? That just isn't good for you. All right? You guys know your, your destiny, okay? You guys are deserving of whatever this is that you guys are attracting right now in your life. All right? So now when you guys uh, connect with people, you guys are really heavy on getting to know them a little bit better uh, through friendship, okay? I'm definitely seeing that. All right, Paul, too? That is why people are obsessed with you because you guys just know your worth. You guys aren't um, ready to be, you know, you guys are with the shits. All right. You guys are not with the shits. You guys will let someone know quick, fast, in a hurry. Um, I'm not to be played with. Okay. You guys are really um, strong. Okay. And stern and firm in who you are. Okay. You guys don't need anyone else but yourself. You guys are the embodiment of self-love and people are definitely obsessed with that type of energy. Of course, people are attracted to things that they uh, feel in themselves that they lack, okay? So that's why people are obsessed with you. You guys are absolutely um, magnificent, fantastic, okay? You guys are just perfect, all right? And um, any person will be happy to have a person like you in their life, okay, to protect you, all right? Even though you know how to protect yourself, we all know that other people are, you know, coming into your life right now. You're attracting other people in your life right now who would like to do the same thing. So, yes, Paul, too, if you guys like this, hit the like button. If you guys feel like it didn't resonate, feel free to choose it in the pile, okay, or just leave it all together. Also, you guys remember I am having a raffle, a $15 off a raffle, okay, of a $35 or more purchase from my shop, Heavenly by Goddess B. All the links and information will be in the description box below. And you guys definitely follow me on Instagram, okay? And you can enter into that raffle, okay? So, yes, Paul, too. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And until next time. Welcome, Paul 3. Paul 3, why are people so obsessed with you? Paul 3, before I start, I'd like to remind you guys I am having a raffle, okay, on my Instagram. So follow me on Instagram. I already got one already. Okay, you guys, I have a channel song. I will um, let you guys know what it is in a moment. 
But um, like I said, I have a raffle through Instagram. So you guys follow me on Instagram. That's Heavenly by Goddess B. Okay. And um, you can enter into that raffle. Just, you know, DM me the word raffle, your name and your email. Okay. And it's that simple. You guys enter into the raffle, but you have to follow me first. Okay. So um, that is a $15 off uh, ticket. Okay. $15 off of a $35 or more purchase from Heavenly. That's Heavenly by Goddess B, you guys. Um, I will leave the information in the link below, okay, this video. So you guys definitely read it, check it out. Um, I got plenty of stuff in my shop. I have the crystal chakra bead bracelets. I have crystal candles, the candle with the surprise crystal inside for a sweet message. I got various, you know, um, crystal pendants, you know, wire wrapped, cord wrapped, um, also cage, okay, charm bracelets, charm uh, pendants, you know, earring sets, I have black jewelry, incense, sage bundles, all, okay, and I also have some candles, okay, I have new candles, I will be adding to the shop, you guys, the chakra candles, so this is the crown chakra, okay, this is the um, third eye chakra, all right and this is the throat chakra okay connecting with the divine and also communication you guys yes the last three chakras are always my best chakras okay that's when you know you have elevated okay that's when you know you have ascended okay and grew in some way all right so yes the channel song i got for you power three was um what is what is that song by monica okay angel of mine okay yes angel of mine so how three why people are so obsessed with you you guys are like an angel that have has ascended from heaven that is like too many cards i'm not even going to take those it was like eight cards i don't have the first power has so many i don't want to have too many cards because i already got a lot from the unicorn deck okay all right <laughs> that pops straight out okay so already you guys i can definitely see you guys are like uh heaven sent okay i'm not taking reverses for any of these you guys people look at you as being heaven sent okay you guys are like an angel you guys are um people's karma okay people's lessons or blessings you guys come into people's lives when they are going through their transitions in life okay that's what i'm getting from that song angel of mine that's what i think about you know just like a guardian angel, some type of guide, okay, in other people's lives. Um, some of you guys could be thinking about writing a book or something like that. Um, please follow that that endeavor if you guys feel drawn to do that. Um, maybe a self-help book or um, you guys are revealing things about your life that other people can uh, use for themselves, okay? Um and some way to elevate their lives, okay? Angel of mine, I never thought I could feel each moment. Isn't there with me? Every breath that I take, the love that we make, I want to share it with you. You, you, you. When I first saw it. Yes, I already knew there was something inside of you. Something I thought that I could never find in your mind. Yes. So people meet you. When you come into people's lives, you guys are like a breath of fresh air. You guys are just what a person needs. Sometimes when people meet you, you know, um, they lose all hope in a situation until you give them some sort of advice, okay? Or some type of boost. I can definitely see some of you guys might be uh, Aquarius or have a lot of Aquarius placements in your chart, okay? I'm seeing Aquarius, Sagittarius, Gemini, um, also Pisces and Libra, okay? Yes, angel of mine, okay? Yes. <laughs> Yes, Pisces, you guys are really tapped in. You guys are uh, divinely guided. I'm getting a lot of purples. I'm going to show you guys the cards in a little bit, okay? Let me show you guys the cards. If I got enough space, let me move my phone. Okay. So you guys got cycles, okay? Partnerships growth come on now 
New Beginnings, Illusion, Five of Pentacles, Four of Cups, Five of Wands, The Chariot, The Moon, Water, okay? Like I said, some of you guys, when people meet you, they are going through a lot of, you know, cycles, okay, changes. Uh, you definitely come into people's lives when they are ready to grow, when they have to learn a certain lesson, okay? Remember when I said that? When it's time for people to close out old cycles, okay, to get to their new beginning, you guys come into their life like an angel, okay? See how this unicorn is floating down, okay? Floating down like to guide this, this, this little youngin. Okay, coming down to, uh, you know, assist you in some way, okay? Or you guys assist them in some way. Um, you guys definitely, if someone is struggling through, you know, transitioning in their life or going through a really big change, I'm definitely seeing uh, broken connections or um, helping people to cope with and grieve okay through loss of a uh loved one okay i'm seeing a lot of that if some people have um lost a lot of people you guys might attract a lot of people who go through a lot of tragedy surrounded or uh yeah surrounded by death okay and death a lot of people like to look at that death as being a really bad thing or a really dreadful thing but um it's not it's, it's it's truly a transition okay energy never dies okay the body dies okay the meat dies the flesh dies but not the energy i do believe wholeheartedly that we do go somewhere after we we pass away after our body just gives up okay so you guys might help a lot of people uh cope with that transition okay to see past the illusion of death I don't know why I'm getting that. So I'm definitely getting heavy uh, Scorpio and Pisces vibes too. Like I said, you guys are really tapped into your intuition. Okay, you guys are uh, guides and healers for other people. You guys might not believe that, but you guys are definitely an earth angel, really watery, okay? Just in tune with your emotions and other people's emotions. I'm getting heavy uh, impact power three, okay? People are drawn to your nurturing, okay, watery um, element to you, okay, to your personality. Um, like I said, these purples, I see the cycles and, and the partnerships, okay? You guys are great business partners, great, uh, you know, partners within relationships, okay? Great uh, relatives, all okay? right? You guys assist any and everyone, no matter, you know, what walk of life they come from or uh if you just met them, you know, if you really know them for a long time or if you just met them, you guys are really open to, um, you know, connecting with other people, all right, and really understanding them. You guys put in a lot of effort to understand other people. Um, like I said, you guys do come into people's lives when they're, they're moving through a tough cycle and when they are in need of a partner, okay, or someone to um help boost them, okay, or assist them in some way. I'm definitely getting that. And that purple represents the, the uh, you know, the crown chakra, all right? Just knowing, okay, and the moon and the water uh, signifies that uh, third eye chakra, great with your intuition, okay? So you guys could be Aquarius uh, moon, all right? Aquarius Pisces moon, uh, Scorpio moon, Cancer moon, okay? Yeah, you guys definitely, uh, like I said, come into people's lives when they're going through, uh, you know, when they have to make a tough decision, you guys, uh, you know, help people see that, you know, no, no decision in life is too hard, okay? You either, it doesn't matter what decision you make, there's no such thing as the right decision or the wrong decision. It's just consequences, you know, to every decision, all right? So, yeah, you help people see past that illusion, okay? You get people to keep going when they feel like they can't go anymore, okay? You push people to get past their, their obstacles, okay, in life, all right? 
you get people to cope with their emotions, all right, and learn how to um, see the glass as being uh, half full instead of half empty. You give people or uh, let people see that they do have a reason to keep going, okay? They can't just give up when things get a little tough. They have to keep going, okay? And I'm definitely getting that with the chariot and the moon. Heavy cancer vibes, you guys. sweet and uh you know uh just really down to earth okay sweet opening open opening opening what am i talking about open to um nurturing other people okay i'm tripping all right i'm tripping uh whenever i get this uh five of pentacles you know when uh people feel alone and lonely like i said you guys uh rush into their lives or just you know come into their lives to um you know like i said teach them that it's more to life than just what they're currently going through i'm definitely seeing that really heavy power three Okay, people are obsessed with you. They might stalk you, okay? Or you might have people who uh, don't want to let you go after you guys have broken up with them. I got a, I got two fives. So it could be a big uh, synchronicity, all right? Five, five. Yes, five, five, four, four. Okay. Hmm. I'm seeing that after you guys uh, leave relationships, some of you guys might come to people's lives to, like I said, only assist them, not to become romantic with them. But sometimes, you know, you can attract people who need help, okay? Not really to uh, love on us, all right? So we could be, you could be, Paul three, giving so much love to other people, giving so much life to other people, and they're draining you. So like I said, I'm getting heavy empaths for you, Paul three. So you guys mainly protect yourself and protect your, your uh, third eye, you know, people from draining you, blocking your third eye, your intuition by carrying some lapis lazuli, um, moonstone and also um amethyst you guys okay black tourmaline black obsidian all right because you you can't attract a lot of people who just need your help they don't really want to love you so um, I see some of you guys might feel isolated and lonely because you feel like um, you can understand, okay, empathize and sympathize with other people. But sometimes people don't have that ability to give that in return, Paul 3. Okay, it could be really isolating, really lonely sometimes for you when you feel like, you know, you're not going to ever attract anyone in your life who really understands you, who, who is really going to be um, down for you, you know? I know sometimes you guys get tired of being in relationships that might seem a little one-sided, okay? The person might get what they want out of you and just um, after they finish learning everything they had to learn, they kind of leave you. You know, it sounds a little sad. It sounds a little, uh, you know, unfair, but you guys have definitely been sent here to uh, guide other people and help other people, Pal, Pal 3, okay? All right. I want to do a Pal 4. Should I do a Pal 4? I might. I think my next video might be a power four. Who knows? I was going to say power four, but <laughs> yeah. Yes, I'm definitely seeing now power three. Oh, yeah, power three. People are uh, obsessed with you because of your energy, okay? Because of your healing energy. Because, you know, they're in need of your energy, okay? So if you guys are uh, looking to attract a, a great partner, um, you guys, uh, some great advice I want to give you is, uh, try to make sure, uh, you guys energy is matching. Okay. Make sure that person is putting in a, the same amount of effort as you. Okay. When it comes to understanding and connecting with them, um, and also, uh, you know, empathizing with them, comprehending and understanding their love language. All right. Because I do see a lot of you guys attract people who aren't for you, who you're just meant to help, okay, and not love. So you guys are definitely great uh, partners when it comes to, uh, like I said, work, when it comes to friendships, when it comes to, uh, you know, family bonds. But as far as relationships, you guys can really struggle with that. So definitely protect yourself, you guys. 
also up your protection, you know, uh, with your sage and, 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 and you know, palisental, your evil eye pen pendants and things like that. Because I do see a lot of people, once you help them and you guys let them go, um, they could be a little addicted to you and may follow you or stalk you. And you guys may have to protect yourself because people can become a little uh, violent towards you. They believe and think that you guys have a nice calming nurturing energy that um you guys wouldn't hurt a fly or you guys are not gonna you know retaliate or fight back but they are uh sadly mistaken okay and and i do see when people mess with you um because you are an earth angel uh your spirit guys your ancestors god will definitely rain uh fire on that ass okay People are not to touch you or to not, uh, they're, they're not meant to mess with you because you guys have a bigger purpose on this earth uh, than most, okay? So I, I definitely see you guys are heavily, divinely protected, all right? So I guess, Paul 3, that is why people are obsessed with you. You guys are just like, you guys are an angel, okay? You guys are like uh, otherworldly. And people just love that energy. Sometimes people are attracted to energy that they don't understand. Or they're attracted to something that they, within themselves, feel like they are lacking. So, yes, Paul 3, that is why people are obsessed with you. So, Paul 3, if you like this, hit the like button. If you feel like it didn't resonate, feel free to choose another pile. And, um, yeah, you guys, just leave it. Also, you guys, I am having a raffle once again. Um, follow my Instagram, Heavily by Goddess B. And also, you guys, just check out my shop, okay? Everything will be in the, link in the box description box below okay my son is trying to disrupt me so i'm trying to talk faster forgive me okay but um yeah you guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys next time all right bye